Good afternoon, Frenchtown Intermediate parents and students. So just really excited to chat with you for a couple seconds. Got a, got a few things I wanted to kind of get out there before we, we kick off the 2022-2023 school year. Um, got a little list here that I'm going to kind of jot through a little bit and chat with each about. I'm Riley Devins, the Intermediate Principal. Uh, so the principal for fourth and fifth grade, for those of you who don't know me. Uh, those of you that do know me, I'm excited to have you for another year in the intermediate school or excited to have your kids coming into the school. So I think it's going to be a great year. Uh, really looking forward to the energy that our staff is going to bring and that and the energy of having just amazing parents and an amazing community. So thank you so much. This is the start of my eighth year in Frenchtown and uh, I can't uh, thank you more than just allowing me the opportunity to work with your kids and work with the community and spend some time with parents, kids and, and do all that. So anyhow, thank you. Uh, a couple things coming up. The state has changed a little bit this last this last year from what it was before a lot of it. Uh, lunches were free and breakfasts were free for the past two years. As of this year, that is going away. So the Office of Public Instruction has pulled that back. The state is no longer funding that. We are going back to a pay model. So what that looks like is those free and reduced applications, uh, if people are interested in going through that process and filling those out, you can qualify for free or reduced status. Um, that's a, that is an income-based piece. You have to give a little bit of information on that. You turn those into your school office. The school office takes it and it goes through the process of um, qualifying. That is all classified information. That's not something that's shared out with anyone. That's just the process that we go through that we're put through from the state. That comes from School Nutrition Montana, um, the steps that we have to take to go through that process. So the forms will be available on the website. They should be up to in the next 24 hours, I would assume. If they're not up today or tomorrow, they'll, they'll be up here shortly. Um, at least before the beginning of August. In the beginning of August, you have that entire month to kind of go through that process, fill them out, turn them into the office. And then we get everyone coded and supported um, guiding into the start of the next school year. The other piece that we have that's crazy this year that uh, is new is that the Infinite Campus portal. I'm hoping that most of you are on the parent portal. I'm not sure if everyone is. If you're not, that's okay. We are back in the office August 8th. So Kristen Kazali and myself will be here. We can help walk you through on how to get onto the parent portal. It's gonna be really important that you're on there because anytime teachers post grades or when kids submit an assignment and they get feedback from their teacher, that all goes into the parent portal. So, and the student portal. So they'll have their own login. Your login will be different. Um, that they can jump in and they, you can view their grades and watch their assignments and make sure that your student doesn't fall behind. And that's just kind of your indicator that you follow as you go through that process. But the other piece on it with Infinite Campus Portal is there is a food service button on there. If you push that and go to pay, you can load money into your lunch count. So that means no longer checks have to come to the school. You don't have to bring ca send cash to the school to be turned into the secretary to be added onto students' lunch accounts. You can do that all digitally through the parent portal. So I encourage you, please download that. Um, every teacher is gonna refer to that multiple times throughout the year. And as you're in fourth grade, if you're coming from third grade, kids rotate between two teachers. Each teacher teaches two subjects and they teach language arts. Um, in their homeroom. So going through that process is going to be really important that you're watching what your kids are doing because you're not dealing with just one teacher right now, you're dealing with two and teachers that are going from, or <clears throat> students and parents that are going from fourth to fifth grade. It's a five class rotation. It spins a little bit different. There's a lot more content, um, instructional time with individual teachers, which means you're going to be juggling five different teachers um, as well as any specials, teachers, music teachers, things like that. So just so everyone's on the same page, get on the parent portal, use it, learn it, because when you go to middle school and high school, it's the same portal that they use. It's the same format. So if you have older kids that are already in the middle school or high school, awesome. You probably know how to use it. Make sure you're using it with your younger kids as well that are in the intermediate school. It's going to be a huge resource. And also, if you have elementary kids, you can add money on their lunch counts the exact same way as you do for your intermediate, middle school, or high school kids. So cool. Wanted to make sure we got that out of the way and kind of talked about that a little bit. Great resource. The other piece I wanted to talk about is start times for next year. It's going to be 810, which means buses will be dropping off between 755 and 805 is kind of our window that we're going to work on. That doesn't guarantee that's going to happen all the time. But for the most part, we are trying to get kids here between 755, 805. We kick off the day at 810. Um, breakfast will be open inside of the cafeteria area, so the Colts cafeteria. 
kids can go in there, they can pick up their grab and go breakfast, bring it back to their classroom. Or if they're here, like that 7.55 time frame, they can pop in and eat inside of the Colts Cafe, have their food in there, throw their stuff away, head to their locker, just as long as they're ready to rock and roll at 8.10 for instruction. So we're trying to buy back that full day and really get back to a consistency. Um, before we ran into the pandemic and some of that stuff going on, we did start classes at 8.10 before where kids were in the building at 8.10 ready to rock and roll. We are going back to that. I've worked with Jamea Benitez. She's our head of our bus department. Um, I'm really trying to get it set up so that our buses are dropping off at that time. We get parents dropping off in the loop out front at that time and then we can uh, we can get the day moving right away. Um, some of the things with the parent pickup loop, it's right out in front of the intermediate school. I can see it on my window right now. When intermediate parents come through the loop, there is that, there is that outer loop that fringes the sidewalk. There is also going to be another inner loop that I'll mark with cones at the beginning. Hopefully we'll get some paint out there before um, and get it very dialed in terms of what it looked like at the beginning of last year. I know that I think we have a paint crew coming in that's going to do the same thing. You'll be on the inner loop and I will be there or someone, an individual will be there to help walk your kids across. This is just going to help limit congestion um, at the beginning of the day and at the end of the day um, at getting kids to the intermediate school. So kind of that same format. Buses are going to drop off again behind the elementary. So they're going to come, they'll actually come around and they're all going to drop off at the corner where there's the four or five sign. Kids will walk around the sidewalk right at about 745 and make their way right over to either breakfast or waiting to get into the building and go to their classes. So really excited about kind of some of those things staying similar the next piece is at 310 we are going to dismiss kids which means that's about five minutes earlier than we did last year but it's going to help out getting buses more consistently to the middle school high school when they're dismissing so buses will be showing up and ready to rock and roll and pick up kids it's not going to be this uh, kids playing out front, waiting. We got 400 kids running around. Buses haven't showed up yet. We're really trying to dial it so buses arrive. Kids get on them. We get them moving on. That's going to limit some of our behavioral and discipline issues that we might have at the middle school or high school. So just keeping everyone in the know there. The next piece is, this is just a tidbit of information. It's early but August 23rd is going to be our open house. I'm going to share more details in August with all parents and stuff, but I just wanted to give you a little prime that knowing that evening you'll get an opportunity to walk in, check out the classroom, talk to some teachers, and bop around the intermediate school and the elementary school. It's actually going to be district-wide, so middle school, high school. You're going to see all that stuff, but August 23rd, um, I'll have more details as we get closer to August, um, but just wanted to prime that little piece of information. Another thing that we have going for those fourth graders that are moving up to fifth grade this year and going to be the big dogs on campus. Pretty excited about that. Looking for some leadership skills out of some of our kids, really to be the example for some of those younger kids. But this is the first year that you get to do band is in fifth grade every year. So fourth graders that are coming up to fifth grade, fifth grade band is going to be that kickoff for you. Mrs. Blast, Mrs. Petroff, and myself are going to send a video out at the beginning of August, like probably second week in August, talking about how what it's going to look like for instrument sales, instrument checkout. We're going to get the date set so that parents show up and can learn about um, all those different parts and pieces, and then we'll get rocking and rolling with some fifth grade band. That is actually... Um, we kick off the day in fifth grade with the study hall for the first 20 minutes, and then we roll into a half an hour of BAM. So all kids get an opportunity to jump in, learn an instrument. It's a great skill to have. Um, if we can jump on it now, it's a great skill to bring into your latter years, into high school, and even beyond. It's a, it's a fun thing to have. So really excited. We've got some amazing band instructors with Ms. Petroff and Mrs. Blast. They're going to do a great job, and they're going to guide your kids through music in a great way. So anyhow, thank you so much for that um, to our music department. Um, a couple other things that we have is our schematic in fifth grade is a little bit different than it was in fourth grade. So any students coming up from fourth to fifth grade, you get into a rotation where it is you have all five teachers. So you're going to have Mr. Warren for math. He's new this year, straight out of Victor, going to be a great guy um, working with our students for math. Then you're going to have Mrs. Long for language arts. She's been with us for a while. Mrs. Luno in science. She's been with us for a bit. Mr. Bertolt's in his second year with us. 
he's going to be teaching social studies, and then Mrs. Kerpis is in her, her third year with us, and she's going to be teaching reading. So going to have a fantastic fifth grade team ready to rock and roll and take uh, students through the learning process. You will have 50-minute blocks with each one of those teachers. That's why it's so important to get on the portal, because while you're on the portal, you're going to learn all that information, or you're going to learn all the information about what your kid is learning inside the classroom, but you're also going to see any assignments they've turned in, what they're scoring on that, and maybe some assignments they might need to redo throughout the course of the year. So that's a good deal. In fourth grade, we've got a fantastic dynamic team. We have four teachers in fourth grade this year. Um, our third grade to fourth grade class coming up. Super excited to have you in the building. I think you're going to be some great leaders to that elementary building, and they're going to see some of the amazing things that you do um, and being champions of character every single day and being safe, respectful, responsible. And hopefully you'll hear that over and over again from me. Um, we're looking for leaders here at the intermediate school, and I think you did a great job in elementary. Now the bar steps up a little bit. So our kids coming up are going to have Mrs. Harvey and Mrs. Whiplinger or Mrs. Smiley and Mrs. McMaster. So the two, um, how our rotation looks like in fourth grade is Harvey's class and Whiplinger's class are each going to teach two subjects and they're going to rotate the other two subjects. And then the same thing occurs with Smiley and McMaster. They're going to teach two subjects and rotate. So you're going to have a homeroom. You're going to get two subjects with them, but you'll also get, so say you get um, reading and science with one teacher, you're going to get social studies and math with the other teacher. So that starts our rotation and primes it to fifth grade when we get on a full scale rotation and then spin to that sixth grade where we're rotating all the way through. So really excited about that. we got some fantastic teachers. Mrs. Smiley's been with us for a while. Miss McMaster came from Polson last year. This is her second year with us. Mrs. Whiplinger has been here um, the same amount of time that I have the last uh, seven years. This will be her eighth year. And then Mrs. Harvey's on her third year with us as well. Well, um, both, all four fantastic teachers, really excited for your kids to get to work with them. Um, so that's kind of all I have for you right now. I'll try to get some more videos to you by probably the second week in August. I'm back full time August 8th. And Mrs. Kazali, Kristen Kazali, uh, my school secretary, she'll be back as well on the 8th. So if you have any questions, um, about scheduling, teacher, anything like that, just make sure you reach out. My cell phone number is 406-361-1973. You can feel free to give me a shout um, and, and we can chat or talk. Throughout the school year, save the number, give me a call. If you have something, I don't want things to boil up. We're family here. As uh, kids come in the building, there's going to be issues. There's going to be things that go on. There's going to be stuff that we learn through communication and talking and have that growth. And I want to be a resource for that growth. So make sure you use me. Give me a call. Um, there's nothing worse than sitting at home at night and something happened at school or had a friendship or relationship issue that happened and you have no one to navigate that with and that builds up overnight then you're in my office in the morning i prefer just give me a call let's talk let's figure it out i can meet with kids in the morning we can go through that process let's be on a team we're going to be i mean a solid 180 days together where we're going to be spending a lot of time with your kids and a lot of time with you guys so please understand that there's going to be bumps there's going to be things that are fantastic there's going to be communication issues at times but we're going to fix those so just make sure you're using um, your resources and talking with us and we love kids here and we love what we do we love frenchtown um, and we're proud of what we do here at frenchtown we're proud of our community we're proud of our school and really just hoping that we can continue to partner together and do that so i'll try to send out some more videos as we get closer to the school year um, but hopefully i covered a lot of the stuff that we have coming up um, to kick off the beginning of the year and just enjoy the rest of summer. Start getting your kids primed on maybe waking up a little bit earlier. We're not sleeping until 9 o'clock anymore. Kind of get back into that. We wake up at 6.30, 7 o'clock, get ready to either catch a bus or maybe we do some chores in the morning just so that we're not groggy those first couple weeks as we jump in. Because I know summer can be a lot of fun, but we do get out of routine in summer. So make sure as we get closer to the begin day that we dial some of those things back in and get back into somewhat of a normal routine. So, all right, I love you all. Be safe, respectful, responsible. Enjoy the rest of your summer. Look forward to seeing everyone soon. Can't wait to hang out with your kids and uh, get some learning and get some growth going here at Frenchtown School District. Have the best day.